Hello there, fellow YouTubers and subscribers. Elton here. Uh, hope you hear me okay here. Put this a little closer. And uh, yeah, so as I, uh, I think I had mentioned before, I'm not sure if I did in the last video I made of um, uh, what I had listed on Kijiji, and I had explained that I came to this important decision after selling for so many years on eBay to decide to stop selling on eBay and almost giving up on eBay because, frankly, when you sell vintage, mostly vintage ads and photos like myself, which are worth what three, four, five dollars. Uh, sometimes I'll sell for even less than three dollars. Uh, it's not worth uh, paying uh, friggin' one hundred uh, fucking one hundred sixty dollars almost in, a month in fees. That's right, one hundred sixty dollars. That's a lot of money when you're Canadian and not an American, but because we pay up the ass in taxes here in, Ca in Canada, specifically here in Quebec. In Quebec, we have fifteen percent tax. As I was feeling, telling my friend Dave in Cape Cod last night. So the cost of living here is not cheap, and. Uh, and I want to, and since I, I just recently made, uh, you know, over a hundred dollars in sales thanks to uh, a couple of my subscribers, uh, uh, thanks again to, uh, uh, well, I was going to say my friend Kevin and also my friend down in New Hampshire, my friend uh, Jack. And I want to keep this momentum going because I figured myself at over 21,000 subscribers. You know, I'll show you my homepage right here if you haven't seen it in a while. I like to change the photo uh, to the, what they call the channel art <laughs> it's just ridiculous it's a fucking picture it's a photo and by the way i speaking of which almost every time i put change a picture almost every day you can check every day i change a picture just for fun because i mean i have thousands of pictures and they're my pictures they're not pictures i can honestly say it's if it's a picture of an automotive ad well i do that one now and then but as you can see here yeah 21,141 21,147,000 subscribers so I'm showing you this also because if you're interested in supporting my cause and, uh, you know, hey, if you wanted to donate some bucks to me, again, you know, and like I said, the cost of living is, is very high here. I'm doing this full time. I've thought about scaling back, but I absolutely love YouTubing and bringing you videos of high quality of various transportation subjects mostly. You can see I am not a rich guy whatsoever. I live in a small uh, two-bedroom apartment here with Gloria, who's in my bedroom sleeping. Here's some of my artwork, which I like to show quickly even though it's not easy to sell. I would have figured I would have sold that Christine uh, sooner, but hey, I mean, I, you know, I need like 600 bucks for that, eh? so. Nice photo, a uh, large photo of a Monte Carlo here that I photographed uh, when I lived in the Verdun area of the city back in um, 09. Anyway, so I'm showing my homepage here with a partial view of a very rare 52 Chevy funeral car that I had did a, done a video of at a car show here in Montreal last year. I'm showing my my uh, channel homepage because, again, if you guys want to make a donation to my cause, that'd be terrific. Whatever you want to send, you can help. You've got money aside there. You don't know what to do with it. More, As they say, more money than people know what to do with. Hey, whatever you want to you send, it'd be really appreciated. And uh, I keep pumping out these great videos. A little less in the winter, but uh, you could send whatever you want to my uh, make a payment through PayPal. I don't do this fucking Patreon business. I think it's too confusing. I think it's ridiculous. Even I don't like things that are that don't are not logical and they're just you know confusing for nothing. So PayPal is still the best way. Um, and uh, so you could send that through my email, which is Elton McFall E L T O N uh, McFall M C F A L L Elton McFall at Hotmail .com. And, uh, but really what this video is about is, again, I'm going to be removing this soon. And there's links soon uh, because I only have a couple of hundred, I think even less than a hundred, less than a 200 items left uh, on eBay because, you know, I owe them money. They're, they've blocked my account in terms of being able to sell and whatever. I owe them $200 and frankly, I might pay it, I might not. I don't know. Frankly, I don't feel like it. I feel like I've been gypped, to be honest with you. I think it's a greedy fucking company. And a Kijiji, oddly enough, which was bought not long ago from by, by eBay, doesn't cost me a goddamn dime. Oh, by the way, if my uh, one of my customers on Kijiji, his name is uh, Kenny, if you by any chance are subscribed to my channel, maybe you are, I'm not sure. Uh, he's bought so many of anything related that I have to Fox Body Mustangs, you know, 80s Mustangs. And I just made a sale with him recently, you know, I mean, uh, again, through Kijiji, not, not through friggin' eBay. So I'm very proud of that, and I'm going to have some more stuff coming to him. Same thing for my friend Jack, and uh, 
So I wanted to show you guys to keep the momentum going in sales here because, it, you know, everything is about advertising, you know. Uh, as they say, advertising pays. It's, it's really true about that. There's no doubt about it. I know, I, know now, I know that now more than ever. I wanted to show you guys what I got cooking here and what I've recently uh, listed. Let's make this a bit bigger here, shall we? So, so you see, yeah, it says I got, ironically, look how ironic that is, eh? 442 ads are up. Anos is ads. And what's a 442 in the car world? That's right, it's based on the Oldsmobile Cutlass. The 442 was the high-performance Oldsmobile back in the day. Do I have any 442 ads? Um, I got a couple. I have a 70. I don't know if it's listed here. Um, um, no. Anyway. So here's the most recent ads I put up. I put this one up today. They're just a, I know a lot of you guys, um, you know, that are about my age in their 40s, especially younger. Uh, they uh, see I show my address in every one of my ads, so people can see where I am exactly if they want to come pick up said ad. And this is an ad I put up uh, today, and uh, you know it's like six pages, but I only show four because one of the pages, one of the pictures. Oh no, the picture is there. Oh shit. Okay, so yeah, the Dodge Caravan, Plymouth Voyager. It's a clever ad, you know, showing the family, showing these troopers, and then, you know, there's the, the town and country. And um, I just got so many great ads. And, and you know, like my prices, if, you don't, if you're not comfortable with my prices, I mean, things are flexible. Look, five bucks, whatever, give me three dollars for the thing. But I won't go less for three. Because, again, it's got a little bit of value. It's like a booklet. It's almost like basically a small brochure. And things like that, when you pull out of magazines, they're like brochures. They're not common. I know, I research this stuff. Like this, for example. This is really a fantastic... Uh, look at this. 88 Chrysler, New Yorker, Landau. Okay? I want 10 bucks for it. It's 11 by 32 inches. It's a big ad. Look at the size of that. It's gorgeous. Okay, this is a bit annoying, though. Let me bring that down a bit. There we go. And look, the pages, this page and this page, they fold up together, and at first, so it shows the interior. It's very clever. It's brilliant. You know, and of course, I'm sure Scotty Kilmer wouldn't be a fan of this, not, not of any Chrysler product, but whatever. I mean, sometimes it's not about quality, it's about design, as I learned through an ex friend of mine. Here's another one I just put up earlier today. Here's almost all my uh, my 50s uh, Lincoln ads. Look at the beautiful Lincolns, 56, 59, 59, 59 again, 58 or 59. Here's a 41, I think, 47 or 48. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at this one here. And I will sell these separately. Is that a fire truck responding? Nope. Yeah, so I put 60 bucks for the lot. I think it's a fair price. I mean, look, just these large two-page ones, these are worth like 10 bucks a piece, easily. Here's a 60, here's a 55. Gorgeous, gorgeous out here. Some 70s, 171, 68, 65. This is a picture of Lyndon Johnson with the Pope. Anyway, you get the idea. And um, um, a lot, I put a lot of Chrysler stuff recently just because it's easier to list because it's all the same make. Look at this. Here's a 98, beautiful 99 Sebring convertible. Line. Okay, it's not worth much, you know, whatever. It's a baby boomer type of car. I don't give a shit. It's a cool car. You can, you, you know, you can get more dull than this. And yeah, Toyota Corolla is a great car compared to this. You can put fucking probably 500,000 kilometers on it but it's fucking boring it's such a boring car look i even put this here's a picture uh, i got about a 79 people magazine look at it francis ford coppola coppola famous director and i should say from my case what's more interesting was the uh with the creator of the famous movie tucker the man his dream i mean the guy loved this this car so much the tucker that he made a movie on and he owns at least one of them so that's really neat. There's a really cool video when Jay Leno actually went for a ride with him, like uh, with Francis Ford Coppola, and they were like, uh, uh, for, uh, uh, Francis were living in a vineyard somewhere in California, and Jay Leno goes to see him. He's like, hey, can we go for a ride? And Francis is like, yeah, okay. You know, and they go for a ride, and the Tucker breaks down. I mean, wow, you know. So you like K-cars, you know? Look at this. This is like uh, 10 by 13. Uh, sorry, this is like 13 by 22 inches. Oh, you know what? I made a boo-boo here. I have to stop this a second. Okay, so yeah, I had to fix the mistake I made on the size of this ad. I mean, it's pretty important. I mean, that doesn't mean I'm going to sell it, but I mean, still, it's, it's got to be factual. It's 
I rode it with 10 by 13. I mean, it's twice the size of that. But uh, there it is. And um, yeah, the earliest K cars. Mm hmm. Comfortable little cars. I would buy one, even though the motors weren't great. I mean, they're just comfortable little cars. They had that big car styling, you know. Okay, where are we at here? I'll show you more what I have here. Okay, by the way, yeah, I forgot to mention at this point. Uh, look, there's other stuff I have too, you know. I mean, look, I even put running shoes out. I'm, at one time, I worked with a guy in, in, uh, in a call center, and he was this young guy. And he, he loved shoes. He loved sneakers. He collected them, you know. And why not? There's a market for everything, for crying out loud. Sure, it's all about the old school, man. I mean, this stuff, look, people still wear shoes like look like that. I think, I don't know if they I guess they're, they're reproductions, you know. Why not? The classics never die, right? Um, but again, that's what I want to say is if you have any requests, you know, please let me know. Uh, si vous avez des demandes pour une certaine voiture, car je connais un gars que j'ai filmé son char comme ça, là, son 92, là, je me souviens pas ton nom, là, mais t'habites uh, pas loin de chez moi, là. I got one of these, j'en ai une pour toi que je vais te donner, là, parce que j'avais uh, filmé ton char. Si tu vois cette vidéo-là, là, contact moi. I was just saying it, there was a guy filmed, he had a similar uh, car like this, but he had a Plymouth Laser. And I told him I had this ad, I would give it to him. So I have more than one. So uh, maybe he'll get in touch with me, maybe not. And anyway, like I was trying to say, if you have any requests, whatever the type of car, even if I don't have it, I will check. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff I have is filed away. Some of it isn't. Some of it is still in magazines. Look at this. This one here, this was a sale I thought I made, okay? But some people are fucking strokers. It's irritating. A stroker is somebody who's going to waste your time. You think they're going to buy, they're just listening and talk to you, and it's, it's very ir irritating. So this guy contacts me, he's French, he's from Quebec or somewhere, and he contacts me for an Austin ad. I have a 73 Austin, uh, I don't know, with the Jaguar and the Land Rover. It was a British Leyland ad, British car ad. It was like three bucks. So then I tell him, uh, okay, you can pay with my email, Ultimate Fall, da 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 and I tell him, you know, I, I can't put all the words together because it's Kijiji, we're not allowed to, like, uh, you know, share emails for security reasons, blah, blah, blah. So, um, anyway, uh, you know, I explained it to him twice, doesn't get it. And uh, then, I'm, I, you know, I, I don't know, he told me he had, like, a couple of MGBs, he sends me a picture, you know, a couple of classic MGBs, just like this. So I, I put all these things together, all these MGB ads mostly, including this picture here from 55. And uh, I tell him 35 bucks for the whole thing. That's a deal, man. That's three bucks an ad or less. And one of these I even hand colored. I colored by hand. This one right here is 79. Colored that with a marker. And he says, you know what? He, the guy has a fucking nerve to say to me, to write to me and say, oh, I'm, I'm going to pass. He says, uh, He says, I know what these ads are really worth. What a loser. <laughs> I mean, really. So I told him, I said, you know what? I said, it's all right. I said, all right, I'm going to put these ads on, on Kijiji, and I'm sure somebody else is going to buy them because these cars are extremely popular, especially around here in the summertime. My God, there's so many. That's one of the most uh, common classic cars you can see. Not to diminish them or anything. It's just, it's true. And that's why, because they're cheap on gas, number one. Uh, they're easy to work on, and they're easy to park. And you, you see where I'm going with this? Even though they're not good cars. They're British. Frankly, you know, I mean, I like them. I mean, but would I own one? Never. This is a really cool ad. Look at this. It's an 83 BF Goodridge ad with a Porsche 944. The BF Goodridge in the early 80s had these fucking fantastic ads with these illustrations of different cars. It's, they're just amazing. They're some of the coolest tire ads I've ever seen. Uh, it's not hard to see why they got like uh, uh, quite a few hits. This ad got quite a few hits. And, um, I'm not going to show everything I have, obviously here, but I wanted to show you guys some of the some of the cool stuff I have. Uh, I think the only thing that's too bad compared to to eBay is I can't categorize this stuff into into makes. This is a picture I thought it was so cool. Came out of a '54 Fortune magazine that I thought I would post it, and it shows the Chrysler Executives, the '54 Dodge, '54 Plymouth. Here's a really cool small Keystone uh, Mag wheels ads with a Camaro SS or RS. You know, here's an Audi, and Audis are really popular here. I figure, I figure, what the hell, why not put that on there? 5,000, 4,000, Quattro. Here's another 83 ad, Saab, uh, Subaru, uh, very nice Chrysler Laser, beautiful ad, very nice. Another beautiful Chrysler ad, 83, LeBaron, 91 Chrysler ad compared with the, uh, the Sedan DeVille, like, 
Porsche 928S83. You know, I'm trying to put stuff that I figure would be interested in. This whatever, I just put that on there, you know, whatever. So people collect tools. And here's another shoe ad. Adidas. Adidas is big. Big time Adidas, you know. Chevy Citation. Well, this one's kind of a joke. Whatever. That's why I put $4. Frankly, give me 2 bucks. It's gone. I, need, I think I would even take a buck for this thing because I think the bottom of the... I think this ad, it doesn't really show, but it's kind of wavy. Got a few waves in it from humidity. So it's really not worth much. Again, I can't reiterate this enough. I price things to sell. I'm not like these fucking stupid, stupid eBay uh, sellers that I want like 15, uh, 10, 15 dollars for an advertisement. And not only that, to make things worse, or they want like four or five dollars and they charge like 13, 16 dollars for shipping. That's absolutely freaking ridiculous. No, no, I price this thing and things to sell. I always pride myself to do things differently. You know, look at this beautiful '79 Buick Skylark ad. Okay, it's not much of a car. But look at the old cars in the background. Look at the checker taxi cab. There's a GM bus. There's, you know, it's, you know, okay, I'm asking four bucks. Give me three dollars, you know. But again, the more somebody buys from me, the better the deal's going to be. That's how I, that's, that's how I operate, you know. I mean, look, I buy uh, these things, the magazines, these things come out of it. I buy them cheap, seriously, on average, two bucks, three bucks, you know. This one's nice, too. Look at that AMC Concord Coupe Silver Anniversary ad. Very nice. They couldn't have made many of these. A silver anniversary model very nice ad yeah beautiful stuff so anyway I'm not gonna keep going because I'm already still not feeling great I'm still feeling under the weather these days uh, obviously I have a lot more ads older than these like look at this 64 I've been trying to sell this ad for a year I don't know why I can't sell it I, I colored the Corvair by hand here maybe Ed if you see this you're interested you know I'll sell it to you cheap color the whole thing by hand you know um, but again, anyway, so like I said, if you want to see all these ads, just go to my homepage, Retro Old School, and you'll see the link at the bottom right of the picture. Just click on it. Look at beautiful 7-Up, uh, Diet 7-Up at 79. This is really nice. It's really sharp uh, advertising, you know. Maybe good for a man cave, you know, even, I don't know. But then again, I could see I could see a chick buying that, you know, because it's a chick in the picture and, you know, women. If there's one thing I've learned about women, there, it's interesting. You know, women can think differently from men just in the sense where, like, I started knowing this when I was growing up as a kid or when my parents got divorced. You know, my mom, she was into, like, you know, girl groups or women singers, you know, and, and the women are like that. I mean, it's just side with women. I mean, it's like having girlfriends. Women, you know, girls have girlfriends. Guys have guy friends. You see what I mean? It's, it's not... Uh, there's nothing unusual about that. Yeah, that's a very cool ad. I gotta show that. Look at that. 78. Look at that. You got this. It's a 78 Chevy ad. You got the Camaro Z28. You got the Chevette. You got the Monza. The Corvette. The Nova. You know? And which one, which car do you think is the rarest in here? Look, there's even a Nova police car there. Well, my opinion, I think the rarest car is the Chevette and the Monza. Alright guys, I'm wrapping this up. Uh, I think I'm going to post this right away because like I said, I want to try to keep the sales things going despite bad news with Hurricane Michael. Oh my god, developed into a Category 4, almost a Category 5 is about to hit Florida. I, that's a sign, you know, some people would say that that is a sign of, uh, uh, you know, climate change. I don't know if it's climate change. I think it might have been because of, um, uh, I think, it, not global warming, but maybe because man, the magnetic poles have shifted. Some of my Corvair ads. I can't believe I never sold this thing. I mean, seriously, here in Quebec alone, Camaros are huge, you know, even in these years. And what do I want for it? Six bucks. Whatever, give me five bucks. It's gone. Oh, man, I got airline ads. I got railroad ads. I got all kinds of, look at Chevelle 69 SS, Caprice, another Caprice, Jackpot. Well, my friend Jackpot, one of these, but a red one, red version. I got gas and oil ads, you name it, man. It's pop ads, beer ads, I got all kinds of stuff. Electronics. Anyway, so that's it, guys. Uh, stay tuned. I'll have another installment of this uh, in a few days or a week. Take care. Bye.